Lise Kristoffersen, and as member of the Norwegian Parliament representing Labour, it's an honour and a pleasure for me to send you greetings and best wishes to the 2010 conference of the Austrian Social Democratic Women. It is also a pleasure to inform you that after the 2009 election, our parliamentary group now consists of 64 members, 32 women and 32 men. Last Monday, the 7th of June, Norwegian women could celebrate 100 years of women's right to vote in local elections. The political fight for gender equality has been going on ever since. Although improving step by step by a combination of political debate, changing attitudes and legal measures, there is still a lot to do in Norway as in Austria. One of the last legal measures taken in my country is the mandatory 40% quota for women on company boards. Until recently, company boards were an arena for men only. The need for change was obvious, not only because of the lack of gender equality. Companies have to compete for the best brain power and skills, often at an international level. As a starting point, excluding one half of the population is not a very wise thing to do. However, male recruiters never saw the high number of qualified women. In 2003, there were only 7% women on boards of public limited companies and less than 40% in public owned enterprises. In November this year, Parliament adopted a proposition from government demanding at least 40% representation by the underrepresented gender. The new act came into force concerning state owned and intermunicipal companies in 2004. Private limited companies were given a postponed enforcement until January 2006. Both public and private companies were given a two years transition period. The mandatory quota is controlled by the Register of Business Enterprises and the sanctions are dissolvement. So, what has happened since? Critical voices from corporate sector have silenced. There have been no dissolvements. State-owned and intermunicipal companies complied by January 2006. The 500 private limited companies complied by July 2008. From 7% female board representation in 2003, we moved to 40% representation in 2008. The women were not hard to find. Studies indicate that the companies are doing well. Corporate leaders now say this was a necessary reform. I hope this Norwegian example will inspire your discussions. Once again, best wishes for your conference and your work for gender equality.